Hello and welcome to I Love Trading. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can factory reset your Google Chromecast. Doesn't matter if you have the first generation or the second generation, they both work exactly the same way in regards to doing a factory reset. Now if you look at your Google Chromecast, you'll see a reset button. So in the second generation, you can see this button right here. And on the first generation, you can see the reset button is over here, okay? So you got two of these buttons. Now the thing is, the only thing that we need to do is give it power. So you have a USB plug, you need to plug this into a USB outlet to give this power. You can also have it plugged into your TV while you're doing this if you wish. So if you, even if you have the HDMI port plugged in as well as the uh, USB port, the only thing you gotta do is press and hold the reset button for 10 seconds, okay? Or you can just pull this out of your TV and we can go ahead and just give it power just simply by the USB port here. And now that reset button on here, what you wanna do is you wanna press and hold this for about 10 seconds until you see a white LED light. So let me do this, let me go ahead and you can see the lights on here right now. Let me go ahead and press and hold both of these reset buttons here. Okay, ready? One, two, three, I'm gonna press and hold. You can see the red and the orange there. Let me wait till it turns white. There it is, now I can let go. Now it is factory reset. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug into my TV and we're gonna go through the setup process, okay? All right, so I'm on my TV right now and I'm getting ready to plug in my Chromecast device. I'm simply gonna use the HDMI cable here and plug in the back of my HDMI port, the same as my USB cable here. I'm gonna plug this directly in the back of my USB port in the back of my TV. Now if you don't have a open USB port on your TV or don't have a USB port, you can simply use a wall outlet to connect the USB cable to give it power as well. So let me go ahead and plug this into my TV. Okay, so my Chromecast is hooked up to my TV now. So I'm gonna grab my remote and I'm gonna press on input or source to make sure that it is on a correct HDMI port. You can see that I have HDMI 2, it's highlighted. So obviously that is where my Google Chromecast is. I'm gonna press on enter. Give it a second here and now you can see the welcome screen and it says to get started download google home app on your phone or tablet okay so i have a ios device here this is an iphone 7 here and i'm going to go ahead and go to the apple play store if you have an android phone you want to go to the google play store and then what we're going to look for is google home type in google home look for google home go ahead and download it and the only difference between setting up using a iPhone versus an Android, with an iPhone, you will have to not only connect to your Wi-Fi network, but you will also have to enable your Bluetooth in order for this to connect. With an Android phone, you only need the Wi-Fi network. All right, so the Google Home, just download it. Let me go ahead and open up the app. It's right here. And let me make sure that I do have my Bluetooth on as well. So let me go into settings here. And I do have Bluetooth on, you can see right here. Now let me go back to my Google Home. Right here. And then from here it says welcome to Google Home. I wanna tap on accept. It's looking for devices and now Chromecast was found and it found Chromecast 6690 which is this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. All right, so it says successfully connected. And then now it says, do you see a code on your TV, the T9E8? I do, it's right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on I see it. And I am in the USA, I'm gonna click on continue. And from here, you can rename your Chromecast something else if it's like in a living room or a particular bedroom. I'm just gonna leave it at the default, the Chromecast 6690, I'm gonna click on continue. And now we have to select the Wi-Fi network. It's not gonna be able to find a Wi-Fi network if you have an iOS device without the Bluetooth enabled. So you have to enable the Bluetooth. And from here, I actually hooked up my second generation so I can hook up to my 2.4 or 5.0 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. If you have the first generation, you only have the 2.4. So for example, here's my Wi-Fi network right here. It doesn't say five gigahertz on the end, so I know this is a 2.4. If I scroll down here, I should be able to find my five gigahertz. 
which is right here. So I'm just going to go with that one. I'm going to click on, now I'm going to enter my password. Now it's connected to my Wi-Fi. Give it a second here. All right, well from here, it says ready to cast. So now I can go ahead and cast whatever I want. So for example, if I wanna go right to YouTube, select a video here, and I can see the casting icon, which is right here. Let me go ahead and tap on that. And now it's connecting. Give it a second here. Here's the actual snap on cable. And there you go, we are now casting. And that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, if it helped out, please give me a like. If you guys subscribe, share, that'd be great. Thanks for watching.